Okay, see these five women? They are all from the Houston, Texas area, and they are all about the same age, and each one thought that she had found the man of her dreams. Until recently, all of these women had never met, even though they have a lot in common. You ready for this? They were all married or engaged to the same man. <laughs> Take a look at this complex love line. In just 10 years, Eric Cooper was married to, or engaged to, nine different women. He said his first I do with Melissa Pope in 1994. They had a daughter, Tracy. They split in 1996. In July of 1998, he married Kimberly Pittman. The following year, their marriage ended, but before he was divorced from Kimberly, he married April James. He and April divorced in January of 2000. By March, he was married again to Paula Heron. They divorced in January of 2002. According to Texas marriage records, he married another April, April Singleton, before divorcing Paula. A shocked April filed bigamy charges against Eric. Turns out, while married to both Paula and April, Eric got engaged to Brandy, who gave birth to another daughter, Brianna. He married Jennifer Smith in 2004. In September that same year, he married Crystal Weber in Las Vegas. Crystal soon discovered that he was a fraud and threw him out. That same day, he landed on Tanya Causey's doorstep and proposed to her a few weeks later. Whoa. Five of Eric Cooper's former wives and fiancés are here. So I say welcome to Crystal and to Tanya and April and Brandy and Melissa. You found out not only has the man you love been lying to you, but that the lies involve eight other women. What was your first reaction? You say mm -hmm. that it was this fantasy relationship, right. and then it started to unravel the day you got married. How so? He kind of has what I describe as like a split personality. For example, the night we got married, he just, for no reason, just switched and said, that's it, we're getting a divorce. And I was like, of course I was all upset. It was the night we got married. And so I was like, what, why, you know? He, I think it's his way to control the situation, to control you. So he was engaged to you, Tanya. He was engaged to you while he was married to you, Crystal. Right. right. What happened was the day that I kicked Eric out of my apartment, the next day he was over at Tanya's apartment. It was that same night. Oh, he, the same night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, yeah. that same night. Then. But He's, you had already known him, right? I, I had already met him maybe three weeks before, but uh -huh. we live on opposite sides of town. Uh -huh. She lived on one side of Houston, I live on the other. And he told me that he was in Florida, I think, helping with hurricane cleanup after they had had hurricanes there. That's how he explained him being gone. And of course, I found out later the time when he was gone, he was at her house. He, so. he was actually living with me because we had gotten married and he was living with me. But he had told her that he was in Florida helping out with the hurricanes, that he was being a good Samaritan. He had told you he was rich, right? He told me he inherited money from his, his mother who had died when he was two years old. He had invested it. And now he had all this money. He even like, he went house, house shopping with me. He took my parents house shopping uh -huh. and we went ring shopping. He pretended like he had money, but he never, I never actually saw it. Of course, you know. <laughs> so I never actually saw the money. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Who said he was always dressed in his Navy whites? Me. You did. What, was he really in the Navy? No. He wasn't even in the Navy. I think, I think he, I don't even think he made it out of boot camp. Yeah. Really? Okay, so he dressed in his military uniform when he visited you? Yeah, the first time I met him, he was wearing his uniform. And visited your son's second grade class? Yes. Did all that. How long did you date him? Uh, about two months. About two months. So you were just engaged. Right. And then how did you discover? He was checking his email on my computer. You know, when I walked in, um, he cleared the screen out. So that, of course, turned into an argument. And that's how I found Brandy. And that, after we broke up, I got an email back from her, and she explained everything to me, you know, who he okay, was Brandy, and what happened. When you, Brandy, you say it was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yes. personality, same thing Crystal said. So where were you in this chain? After her, three people <laughs> after her. <laughs> well, when I was married to Eric, he was also married to Paula. How long were you married to And she was pregnant her? with his baby. Okay, how yeah. long, okay. So he was married to two women and had her. Had her pregnant. Okay. Yeah. How long were you married to him? About yeah. a month. You were married a month. Mm -hmm. How long had you dated? We had dated about a month. Okay. I found out about Melissa and that they had had a child together. Had you had a child together? Yes. Okay. And how long were you with him? 
Three months. Three months. And then we were married for about eight months. And you're married for, that's long. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was number one, so. Oh, so. you were the first? <laughs> yes. Okay, so you were the first. And what was your first clue? One day he would just be so sweet and loving, and then like the next day, like all of a sudden, I mean, he would blow up. I mean, be throwing stuff around and um, push you around and just, you know, just. And this is my question to all of you. You never saw any sign of this Jekyll and Hyde personality prior to marrying? No, no. Uh, he I, I did a little bit. He would blame that on the military. He's like, because he said he was an officer in the military and a pilot as well for me. I don't know what he told y'all. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a pilot for her as well. Yeah, he was a pilot. pilot. He was a Navy SEAL for, for me. He was a Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> was he physically abusive with, with yes. all of you? Yes. How so? When I was four months pregnant with our daughter, Brianna, he had grabbed me by my neck and put me on the ground. When she was born, he broke a, our family portrait over our head. And that same night, he pulled a gun on me, telling me, you know, me and my daughter were worthless. And then he proceeded to turn the gun on himself. And I asked him to go outside because I didn't want to see it. Well, then I went to go to bed after. <laughs> I'm sure it was said with more passion than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, could you go outside if you're gonna shoot yourself? I'm sure so. Yes, um, and then I got our daughter calmed down, put her to sleep, and he came in there with a taser and shocked me while I was trying to sleep. I couldn't believe it, I was terrified. And this is how, far, so you've been with him a while, you've long enough to have a yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah, well, I left him when I was still pregnant, when I found out about, not her, but another lady that had a child with him. How many I, children does he have now? Three living, yeah. three, three living he daughters. One on the way with a 17-year-old, yeah. oh, yeah, I believe. He has one on the way. And yeah. one on the way. Yeah. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the own channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.